Ladies and gentlemen, conquerors of kingdoms, welcome to Empires in Ruins. That's right, it sounds like a game that is made for a mobile phone, you know, one of those knockoff copy games, but I mean, it couldn't really be further from that. You can probably tell by the uh, inquisitive nature of my voice that there's a lot to unpack in this game. There's a lot to unpack in this game. What I will say is this is kind of a combination between a sort of grand strategy game and a tower defense game? Kind of? Um, it's probably best if I just show you. Um, I'm gonna jump right on into it. Uh, all that remains for me to say is that this is currently developed by Hammers and Ravens. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna be jumping right on into the sandbox. This is currently in early access. The sandbox is in, uh, in alpha at the moment, and I'm going to be playing on easy mode for a bunch of reasons, which I will explain to you as we progress through the game. Right, so. I've I've put I've put a good amount of time into this uh, into this game already because it is quite weirdly fun. Uh, so let's let's immediately jump into the complexity and the just the craziness of this game. Right. So we start in in this here little province. This is where we are at the moment. And there's a whole bunch of information on the screen, which I'm going to try to unpack for you right now. Let's first talk about the province view. So each province has got a bunch of different modifiers, which mean lots of different things, which again, I'm going to try to explain to you. So this is the current level of uh, of our province. As you can see, it's currently a fortress. Now that can, you know, be upgraded, downgraded, depending if we have enough population. This is our population stat over here. There's attack stat, authority stat, defense stat, rebellious activity stat, food. We currently require a bunch of food, uh, research point production, population happiness, and, uh, and espionage quality. Uh, we can also adjust the tax rate and and uh, we can distribute men. But, I mean, don't worry about that too much. Uh, what's really key that I point out is that there is resource production. So we get 55 gold bars per turn, 25 bits of stone per turn, 45 bits of wood per turn, and 15 iron per turn. And that all goes into, like, a central little bank, which you can see down in the bottom left-hand corner. Right? You're with me so far? You're not, you're not, like, you're not completely misunderstanding the situation? Good, I hope so, because it only gets crazier from here. But bear with me. Okay, so that's the province view. We'll talk a little bit about interacting with the world in a second, but before we do that, it's probably worth me talking a little bit about espionage. Espionage, nothing to see here. There's literally, there's literally nothing that we can do with espionage at this stage, but we'll, we'll progress to that in just a second. Uh, this is us, Sergeant Hans Heimer. Uh, as you can see, I, that's me. That is indeed me. Uh, so this, this is us. We have a whole bunch of like personal, I guess like personal, personal traits and, uh, and we can level them up as soon as we level ourselves up. So at the moment we are level zero, big fat zero, uh, but we are eight out of 10 experience on the way to level one, which is quite nice. And leadership con uh, controls a whole bunch of like modifiers. So as you can see on the right there under the leadership, that's what the leadership trait controls. So every time you level it up, you get a, a bunch more of all of the stuff on the right. Same with tactics that controls a, a, a few bits and bobs. Empathy also controls a few bits and bobs. Man Management controls a few bits and bobs, and luck. You can't influence luck, but luck has no problem in influencing you. What a lovely line. I like that a lot. And also, as you level up your abilities, uh, you unlock these special abilities, which, I mean, I have no idea what they do, uh, just to be quite frank, and, uh, and I don't think you find out what they do, but that doesn't particularly matter. Anyway, uh, so... I think probably what we should do before we go and explore the research tech tree, because believe you me, there's a research tech tree. Uh, before we go and explore that, let's have a little look at what we can do sort of on the map. Right, so currently we only have one province, we only have control of one province, and I think what we want to try and do is ascertain exactly what there is to gain in all of the neighboring provinces. So, let's send out... A scouting expedition. We're going to send out a scouting expedition from our base of operations. It's going to cost 17 gold and a few little other bits and bobs. Not very much in the grand scheme of thing. In the grand scheme of things, there's a 64% chance of success, and I believe that that is determined in part by the attack modifier somehow. Don't ask me how. There's lots of maths going on behind the scenes, and I don't understand maths at the best of times. But anyway, 
that's that. So we've sent out a scouting operation there. Um, I think we'll just we'll leave it we'll leave it with we'll leave it in one place at the moment. We're not gonna we're not gonna faff around scouting in other places. In fact, I don't even think we can scout in other places. No, because we already have our scouts uh, our scouts in play. So our scouts are already en route to Heim. So we'll deal with uh, we'll deal with we'll deal with other provinces in in just a second. Right. So, let's progress to the second half of turn one, because each turn is done in two different parts. So, there we go. There's a night phase and then a day phase. Uh, as you can see, there's a little modifier here that says turns to next riot, which I'll talk about in a second. Bear with me. There's a lot to, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. Right. So, let's see, let's see what we've got. Uh, starvation population decreased. Okay, I mean, that straight up just is not good. That is really, really, really not good. So we currently are bringing in about 11 food and uh, and we need 25 in order to survive. Well, what we can do to immediately rectify that is we can give direct building orders to the province. Now, because this is my capital province and it has my headquarters in, I can give the orders to build directly. Uh, so I can say, hey, we want to try and build a building which gives us food. Now, I believe... That's a temple. That gives me happiness. That's a farm. That's going to take 12 turns to build, as you can see signified in the top right-hand corner. And it would cost me a whole bunch of resources. I think we're after a pasture, because that's only going to take four turns. It's going to be a darn sight cheaper, and it's going to take a heck of a lot less time. We cannot build a fisherman... A fisherman. We, get, we can't build a fisherman. I mean, who can build a fisherman? Um, but we will build a hunting lodge afterwards. Yeah, that seems fairly reasonable. Right, there's a whole bunch of other buildings which I want to uh, explore, but we'll do that. We'll do that later. We haven't even got to the meat of this game. I'm actually so excited. Uh, we are seven minutes in, and I, and I still haven't showed you exactly how crazy this game actually is. But wait, it's coming. Uh, okay, cool. We've, uh, we've leveled up. Let's deal with this... Um... Let's deal with this now then. Okay, sure. Let's just plonk all of our points into leadership. My understanding is is that I mean, look, it gives me a whole bunch of modifiers as opposed to the other the other things which only give me a couple. So, let's just throw them all into leadership for now. We can look at the specifics a little bit later on. Anyway, uh, there should be there should be, yes, there should be a lot of information to unpack from the scouting report on Heim. And, uh, and as you can see, there is a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of information with which we have been provided. Enemy forces, we don't have information on enemy forces, or if we do, it's bugged. I'm assuming that we don't have any information. But what's crucial is that we can actually see exactly what we're going to get from looting the province, and exactly what we're going to get if we occupy the province. So that is very, very cool indeed. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Right, so I think what we're going to do to celebrate the fact that we've got a scouts report filed or in our database, uh, let's go and fight for the province. That's right. So we are going to use our troops from the city of Pifraz. Yeah, we're going to use the city. So that's going to take our attack value. Now, the attack value works in a kind of strange way. My understanding is is that it all, like, gives you this battle modifier. So, um, so let's send the troops from our... From our yeah, it gives you this combat modifier thing, which is, I don't really understand how it works, but that's fine. Uh, let's 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 send our troops from Perfraz into Heim. Right. So uh, that's the scouts report. Yes, we know we've we've already looked at that. That's fine. And uh, on the next turn, we are going to we are going to really dive into the deep end of Crazy Town, whilst we see what's going on. Right. So we should be able to we should be able to attack now. There we go. Uh, population is is decreasing. Yeah, yeah, this is not good. This is not good. We need to we need to complete our building. How how many turns left? Three turns left in order to in order to build our pasture to try and get us a little bit more food. We need a darn sight more food. That is for absolutely certain. Anyway, let's fight and let's have a look at this truly unbelievably crazy crazy video game. Right, so, as you can see, the battle modifiers give us a whole bunch of stuff. Battle health modifier, modifier time between waves. I don't know how from 36 you get 15, 15, 15, and minus 10. Just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all. But, I mean, who cares? We can auto-resolve the battle, much like in a game of sort of total war. But, uh, but of course, on this occasion, on this occasion, I'm gonna be fighting it. I'm gonna be fighting it, and it's gonna be absolutely bananas. Right, so, you know how I said that this game was a tower defense game? Well, <laughs> this is 
a terror defense game. And it's absolutely bananas. I, I, I keep saying that, but I, I mean, there's a huge smile on my face because this game is just so unbelievably bonkers. Right, so we are attacking this province, right? P pretty, pretty simple concept. You see this village? This is the village in Heim. Turns out we're not actually attacking it. We are defending it. And that's something which, as far as I'm aware, happens on absolutely every combat encounter. You are always defending the city. I, I, I don't really get how it works, but, but there we go. Anyway, we've got this sort of preparatory phase. We were able to bring a whole bunch of resources into combat with us. So we are, of course, going to, uh, going to start planning stuff out. Now... There are a few things that we've got unlocked. Let's start at let's start at the let's start at the left. We've got basic buildings and we've got a lumberjack here. Now, a lumberjack is basically a a massive outlay of gold, uh, which we don't have that much of at the very start. Gold is one of those resources that I think we are probably in a fairly short supply of. Uh, but it gives us it gives us an increase in the amount of wood that we get over the course of the battle, so it might indeed be worth picking up. I don't want to pick it up right now, but it's something to consider. What we do want to get is a tower, right? So we've currently got three towers unlocked. We've got the Scouts Tower, we've got the Guards Tower, and we've got the Catapult Tower. Now, the Scouts Tower is very, very interesting, but not something that I'm going to build right on the first turn, or at least prob probably not on the first turn. It's very, very cheap, as you can see by the resources over on the right. And what it actually does is it tells you where the enemies are going to be coming from on any given wave right? So there are one, two, three, four entry points in this map. And uh, hold on, let me just crank up the music a little bit. I don't know why the music went super, super quiet all of a sudden. That's pretty disappointing. Uh, yeah, so there are four entry points on the map. And if we place the scouts tower correctly, then you know, if we place the Scouts Tower right here, for example, uh, as you can see, it's got our little range bubble around it, probably better signified by that red bubble, but I can't obviously place the Scouts Tower there. Uh, we would be able to see the route that enemies are going to take. However, we're not going to do that right now because what I want to do is I want to get some Guards Towers up and make sure that we can repel the first wave. So, without further ado, let's place down a Guard Tower in a strategic location. The area that these guys have uh, to shoot at is very, very small. You'll notice that the sound is very, very unbalanced when, when it comes to builders actually building the towers. We've got two builders. We've got Herb. Is that a name? We've got Herb and, uh, and Axel. Uh, that's a bit of machinery on a car, just, just FYI, guys. Uh, but we've got these two guys, and these guys have to go out and manually build the towers. So let's get two towers. I mean, that will take away the majority of our resources. I guess we'll also build a scout's tower. Why not? Let's build a scout's tower in the location that I highlighted so that we can actually see exactly where the enemies are coming from. Right, so I can't do anything about the sound being horrifically unbalanced, I'm afraid. Um... There you go. Herb, yeah, get yourself get yourself back into the into the base. Right, so we can't build anything else. We can repair our structures, but we don't need to repair them. Um yeah, I think we're I think we're pretty much ready. I, I think we're pretty much ready. So, scouting is in progress, and as you can see, we're able to see the routes that the uh, that the enemies are taking. So, because there were no red arrows coming in from the right, we can see that no enemies are going to come in from the right over here. I think we should be able to repel these, uh, these rabid hounds. So, I don't know why it's rabid hounds that are attacking me. I thought this was just a regular human province, but, um, but there we go. Right, so as you can see, now the enemies are coming from an entirely different direction, which is, uh, which is fine. So it means this tower is going to be, is going to be drawn on much more heavily. Now, uh, we get a bonus if we call in the wave early, so I think I'm probably likely to do that. We've got three hounds coming in from each of these directions. I think we should be able to repel all of the hounds with, uh, with the current setup that we have, especially given that the hounds are going to be coming in at different times. So hopefully... Yep, we're just able to, to kill all the hounds, and each time we um, we destroy an enemy unit, we get a nice little gold bounty, which is quite nice. We also, as I was saying earlier, uh, we get a bunch of extra money from uh, from calling in the waves early. Cool. Right. Can I build? Can I build some more towers? I think I just straight up want to build more towers. I'm gonna lay down an extra tower over here, 
And uh, we're going to go and get Herb to go and do that. Can I build another tower? No. I'm a little bit short of wood and a little bit short of gold, but that's not a problem. Uh, we'll get a second guard tower over over on the left side, or on the, the west side, I suspect, uh, is probably the, the better way of saying it. Uh, and then we will uh, we will follow that up with another guard tower at another point. Now, it's worth noting that I do indeed believe we've got a, another enemy unit. I'm just going to quickly try and upgrade this tower because I think we might end up taking a little bit of damage. Yeah, so we ended up taking a little bit of damage from that bandit there. I did upgrade the tower, so I upgraded the fire rate and the damage that uh, that each tower outputted. Out outputted outputs. So uh, so hopefully that should give us a little bit of a uh, little bit of benefit. I'm thinking that we now try and build a lumberjack at some point. Let's build it out. Let's build it all the way over there. Uh, we simply do not make enough uh, or do not produce enough wood at the moment, which is a little bit of a little bit of a problem. Who have we got coming in now? We've got a brand new unit coming in. We've got three hounds and we've got three bandits. Okay. All right. Cool. And there's they're coming in from three different paths, which is a little bit irritating. Let me speed the game up and then let me immediately call in the next wave. Uh, so, what have we got? We've got the Sapper, and they're able to dig tunnels, they're able to open new paths. That's very worrying. Uh, and they also have an explosive death, and, uh, they damage towers on their death. Cool. Not cool. Very not cool. But, I mean, that's, that's fine. I guess that is what it is. Let me get a range up and a damage up over here. That's a significant amount of damage that was done to that tower right over yonder, which I'm not super happy about. We are definitely going to take damage, aren't we? Yeah. Right, so we definitely need to try and think about getting a second tower as swiftly as we possibly can on the right-hand side over here. What have we got coming in from the right? We've got another new unit, and we've got a bandit. That's... I mean, I'm not thrilled. I'm not thrilled at that, but I, I can learn to live with that. I mean, as long as we're... As long as we're, uh, we're seeing the vast majority of enemies coming in from the right-hand side, or from the from this side over here, then I'm fine with that. Hold up. You straight up are not able to take out that unit. Wow. Okay. Okay, well, we got him anyway. See if we can up the fire rates. Yeah, we're, get it. we're gonna get him. Brilliant. Okay, absolutely fantastic. Uh, still not enough wood to get a, to get another tower. I mean, we just need to keep on banking our wood. We need to keep on banking our wood. It's so essential that we just keep on banking our wood. We need that lumberjack to, to get to work, really. We can build another catapult, we can build a catapult tower, our first catapult tower, actually. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be nasty. I can't build another guard tower around here. I can't build another catapult tower around here. The, uh... The environment is just not very... Is not very tower friendly over here. Uh, what I think we're gonna do is... We're gonna queue up a catapult tower over here. The catapult tower is notable because it has a rather significant range. So, we're gonna be able to take advantage of that. However, I'm not... I'm not super over the moon about the fact that all of these guys are going to be able to do some damage. Uh, we can bump up the range, but I'd rather not. I'd rather just save my... I'd rather just save my stuff. It's also worth me noting, by the way, there are a bunch of buildings which we have yet to unlock. Uh, and we will unlock them, of course, in the uh, in the tech tree. Okay, so you get through. Oh, uh, we're going to take a lot of damage here. Yeah, alright. Well, you know what? That is what it is. Let's get a let's get a catapult tower so at least we can start doing some area of effect damage. Uh, some area of effect. Yeah, that's that's the term that I was looking for. AOE. AOE damage is what we're after. Who have we got coming in here? Oh right. Well, we've got a bunch of new a bunch of new dudes coming in, which I'm very apprehensive about. Um, I say a bunch of new dudes. We've got one new dude coming in, and I know for a fact that this dude is uh, is a nasty, nasty, nasty chap. Very, very nasty piece of work. But that's okay. We'll we'll get to him in just a second. Let's go to the next round. Let's go to the next round, and uh, and I can explain exactly what this guy does. So this is a provoker. 
We the folks, this ability can either be used against your tower's crews or against your soldier units. In case of a failed morale check, the tower will stop shooting for a while and the soldiers will desert and join the enemy march against your castle. So basically what he does is he's going to disable the first tower that he comes across, which will probably be this catapult tower. Um, that, I mean, that's that's fine. I hope I hope it'll be fine. Ideally, we're able to get a couple of shots off with the catapult before he he tries and checks the tower. Aha! He, he failed his morale check. Right? Okay. I mean, this is okay. I say this is okay. I'm not over the moon about this. Nice. Oh, just managed to scrape through. Okay, I, I think maybe with one more guard tower. With one more guard tower over there. Let's go and get a guard tower right over there. Now, our builders can die, by the way. We can... We can have dead builders, but I mean, I'm not really entirely sure that it matters that much. But I think with one more guard tower in combination with a catapult tower, I mean, we've got a significant amount of firepower over on this western side now. So I think we should be fine. We've got a couple of hounds coming in from this side, a couple of bandits coming in. That's not too much to worry about. A couple of hounds, a couple of bandits. Okay, looks like a little bit of a, a rest wave. I think what we want to try and do now is focus on getting a bunch of our towers upgraded. Uh, so as you can see, we've already significantly upgraded this tower. The tower, by the way, can only, at the moment, without a without a building upgrade, reach a maximum of, uh, of two upgrades in each slot. So we can get two range upgrades, we can get two fire rate upgrades, and we can get two damage upgrades. Um, let's just go straight to the next level. What have we got coming in here? Okay, a few bits and bobs, but I think we should be I think we should be fine. Ideally I'd love to I'd like to get another catapult over at this side. Yeah, see this is why. We're not doing any area of effect damage. And that does concern me a little bit. Yeah, so you're gonna get in. And that's gonna take us down to 50% HP. So we need to get we need to get upgrades on this building. And I'd also like to get a catapult. Yeah, let's get a catapult right over there. So this is going to be quite a significant wave, I think. We've got two bandits coming in from that angle, two bandits coming in from that angle. That's a sapper coming in from, from there, and two bandits over there. How loud is that sawing? It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Right, so with that catapult, we've got two catapults on the map. Right, I think this is, um, this is going to be just fine. Let's call in the enemies, let's call them in early. And let's see what we can do. And let's see if we can try and get this dude's range upgrade at some point. But I think we'll be just fine. Yeah, there we go. Right, the, sa uh, the sapper seemed to die and uh, and cause a little bit of a detonation over here. That's a bit of a bummer. We've got a brand new unit coming in. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge, this area. Is there any way that we could perhaps mm, squeak another guard's tower? No. We can get a range upgrade, but not for a little while yet. We've got four hounds coming in from that side, two bandits coming in from that side. Okay, so that's these two routes are going to be totally fine. It's just this route that I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, so the brand new unit that we're going to see right here, let's go and take a little look at it. It's a bear, and it's just got a gargantuan amount of HP, which is, I mean, a little bit less than ideal. I'd obviously like the bear to be coming in from a different angle. I feel a little bit vulnerable from this side. Yeah, look at the size of that. Look at the size of that bear. Well, we're going to get him, I think. But we're probably not going to get his uh, his companion. Oh, straight up we are. Because he stops to attack every single every single building that he passes, we were able to get him. Wonderful. Well, let's repair the scout hut. Let's repair or the scout's tower. Let's repair the catapult as well. And then I think we just go for it. I think we've got a good amount of towers now. Oh, we need to get another... We need to get another guard's tower over here. Nice. Okay, so the catapult was able to destroy that sapper. Actually, when he was out of explosive range. So he died and didn't actually damage anything. Which was really, really nice. Let's just progress straight on. Uh, we've got nothing... Nothing coming in from the... From the western side, as from the eastern side, only from the western side. But there is a lot of stuff coming in over here. I actually feel moderately okay about stuff coming in from this angle because we do have a lot of we do have a lot of firepower over here. Uh, we might take a hit though. We took one. I think we took one hit there. 
I mean, that's... That's okay. That's okay. We got anything coming in from the western side. We do have stuff coming in from the western side. We've got a provoker, three bandits, and we got a provoker coming in from this side as well. Right. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I think we'll be just fine. Let's see if we can try and get this dude upgraded. Upgrade the range on that guy as well. So as you can see, by the way, that tower has been completely disabled until... Until... I don't I don't even know... I don't, I don't know when. But thankfully, my catapult was able to deal a significant amount of damage, and I think we will be totally fine, especially if we damage that provoker with the catapult hit. Wonderful. Right, I'm very, very happy with that. This tower being fully upgraded absolutely seems essential to me, uh, so I'm very happy with that. A bear and a, and an orc. I don't even know, whatever. I don't even know if it's an orc, but it, it's like an axe-throwing orc. An axe orc, sure. Right, uh, is there anything else that we want to do at this point? I mean, we're 14 out of 17 waves in, so I'm feeling... I'm feeling okay about things. Let's go and repair that tower, and then let's go straight to the next round. Get as much gold as we possibly can. I don't believe that we can take the gold out of the encounter, but, uh... But there we go. Right, I think we are absolutely A-OK -okay with this, aren't we? Yep, we are totally fine. Absolutely brilliant. Very, very happy with that. Let's progress right on into the next round. And let's just throw some upgrades into, into this tower over here. Range upgrade on the catapults. Nice, that's good. Very, very nice. I think we should get him. Oh, that's a, that's a bummer. Well, we should definitely be able to get these two guys. No problems there. Uh, let's get another guards tower just whilst we're whilst we're waiting. Eight bandits. I think we should be able to repel that. Oh no, a brand new unit. I don't even know what this guy does. Right. Let's just go for it. Let's see what we've got. Right. What does this guy do? He's a brute. Brutality. By pounding the ground with his maul, the brute will cause high area damage doubled against buildings. Okay, well that's a bit of a problem because our catapult is already weakened. Okay, that's a significant amount of damage, but it's not enough to destroy the catapult. Let me go and repair that catapult so that we can get a few more attacks out of it. Alright, that was that was good. That was fine. That was easy. Okay, that was I say that was easy. This is on easy mode. It, it didn't actually feel that easy. Uh, we got one star... That's fine. I'm okay with one star. Total score, kills, experience, headquarters health, etc. Don't ask me the logic of defending a town, which, when we're attacking a province, doesn't particularly matter. Anyway, how wonderful is this? We've actually managed to get uh, a province. Brilliant. Right, so now we've got two, uh, two choices. We can occupy the province peacefully, or we can pillage the province and get a bunch more resources. I, of course, am going to elect to occupy the province peacefully because, I mean, that just seems like a surefire way to ensure that uh, that I don't have any any bad stuff happen to me. As you will note, actually, turns to the next riot has pretty much doubled. Uh, turns, turns to the next riot is uh, is entirely dependent on relations with folks, right? Relations with folks or conquer more provinces. So as long as I keep conquering provinces or increasing my relations with the folks, the uh, the riot will just be staved off uh, forever. The way to check my relations with the folks is by clicking on this little button down here. As you can see, my relations with the population is currently at 30%. There's a whole bunch of other factions that I need to keep good, otherwise they're gonna rebel against me as well. But you get the picture. We need to try and keep everyone happy, and, you know, it's, it's very, very important to keep the folks happy. Otherwise, they will literally rebel, uh, and that's a bit of a problem. Anyway, uh, congratulations to us. We managed to get ourselves a brand new province, which is very, very nice. Turns out we got a little bit of spare food. Uh, the, the 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 province at the moment is is just a hamlet, but that's okay. What we're looking to do is we're looking to try and grow our population up to 25. At that 25 mark, I do believe that we will get the option to upgrade our province from my hamlet to something else. Uh, as you can see, we can't actually give direct building orders to this province. Uh, also, we can assign a governor. 
a, a governor. A governor is a, is a is a slightly risky business because governors can rebel against you as well. So we, I'm not necessarily certain that's what we want to do. Population in our capital city is, I mean, it's in a little bit of a dark place at the moment. We really, we really do need a lot of food. How are we doing with the pasture? We've got three turns left still on the pasture. That's, that's totally fine. Right, well, since we've demonstrated the combat now, I feel like this is a great time to go and chat about research. And once again, we are diving into the realm of just the totally, totally crazy. So this is the tech tree. Oh no, wait, this isn't actually the tech tree. This is also the tech tree, and so is this. There are three absolutely tremendously expansive tech trees, and uh, and I kind of dig it, to be honest. I kind of dig it. You know what I don't dig? I don't dig the fact that we only get one research point per turn at the moment. Actually, I think that'll technically become two research points per turn, as I believe... We get one research point per turn from each province. But we've got two banked research points because we didn't select uh, any research for the last couple of turns. That's fine. What do we want to do? What do we want to work on? Well, we can only work on one research project at the moment. We can't get any tier 2 stuff. We need to unlock the first tier of the... Uh, we need to unlock two two core technologies of the first tier in order to unlock the second tier. What we can do is we can unlock a composite bow tower, which will cost me eight research points, but I think, honestly, will probably be worth it. Uh, this is basically an upgraded guards tower, so that would be really, really nice. Yeah, let's go and research that technology. Well, we're, uh, we're two points into it, so we're about a quarter of the way there. Uh, just to highlight, there's a whole bunch of different uh, different categories which we can upgrade. So maybe getting tower damage plus 3% would be pretty nice. Uh, similarly, soldiers and workers. So, I mean, I think that there is a building called the Barracks somewhere, which I'm able to unlock. I don't actually know where it is, but I think that there's a Barracks that I can unlock somewhere uh and that will allow me that will allow yeah barracks is right over here uh in resources and buildings so that will allow me i think to unlock soldiers on the on the battlefield i don't actually know uh two man saw i believe this will increase my uh my wood production during combat i think so there we go uh, i can also upgrade the levels the levels of the city that i'm defending again don't ask me why it works in in that way. It's just it's very very strange. Um. Anyway, I think that we should probably try and uh, go through a couple of turns. Maybe we'll go on to I don't know. We'll we'll try and progress to about turn six in order to see what our food is doing. Population decreased. Yeah, we're in a bad place in terms of food, but there is almost nothing that I can do, I believe, in order to in order to increase food production other than what I'm doing at the moment. So, there we go. Let's progress to turn six. Population is again starved. That's not super great. We're gonna soon see... We're gonna soon see a downgrade of uh, of the city, which I, which I really don't want to see. We're still at 14 out of 19 food. That is... That is not good. Well, we're gonna build the, the Hunter's Lodge, which is quite important. And then we can look at building you know, perhaps something which gives us even more food. In the meantime, why don't we look at scouting out a few extra bits and bobs? Why don't we scout out Konenberg? Send the scouts, send them from... Send them from the, the home territory. There we go. And we'll go to the next turn. Scouting is successful. Brilliant. Let me look at the scouting report. Thank you. Brilliant success. I mean, there's nothing special here. Natural resources. Cool. I'm not particularly bothered. Let's go and fight for uh, for, fight for the province. And we'll, uh, we'll send our tremendous army. And we'll see what we can do. A man asks to join our ranks. So I'll, I let him in. Sure. So, we can actually hire officers. But we don't actually have any officers at the moment. You know how I talked about governors earlier? Uh, this... This loyalty factor is really quite important. However, uh, these these uh, these officers all have a bunch of different a, a bunch of different modifiers, and uh, we can we can definitely take advantage of them. And I will take advantage of them, but uh, but not at this present moment. 
Right, let's fight. Let's go and do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this by myself again. Although I feel like combat after this point will be uh, will be auto resolved. Right. Okay. So immediately, immediately from the outset, I can say I I like this map a heck of a lot more than I like the last map. Yeah. This makes this makes for this makes for a nicer encounter. What do I want to? What do I want to open with? I mean, getting a scout's tower is is always good. Uh, I think we want to open with a guard's tower. We'll get a guard's tower right there. We'll get a scout's tower. We'll get a scout's tower right over here. Yep. Get a scout's tower right over there, so we can see exactly where the enemy are going to be coming from. And then we will reserve our cache for either another cat, uh, another guard tower, or a catapult tower. Right, let's see what the scouting says. Any info. Okay, so it's hounds from over here, hounds from over there. And hounds from over here. Fine. Let's go and build another guards tower just as quickly as possible, please. So hopefully my builder's not going to take, uh, take any damage by being out here. That looks good. Perfect. Okay, I'm not super worried about the logistics of this. I think we I think we should be fine. Might be a little bit close, but um, hopefully we don't take any damage against the hounds. We took one damage against the hounds. That is deeply infuriating, but I mean, it is what it is. What can I say? Let's bring in a new wave of gold. Let's immediately get a lumberjack. And let's see who we've got coming in against us. More bandits. Bandits, I'm actually, I'm actually okay with. But we'll get a lumberjack nice and early just to secure our wood production. As uh, as in the last map, we didn't manage to, to keep our wood production in a particularly good place. So we'll go and do that as swiftly as we possibly can. Uh, I think I might want to straight up call the next... Oh no, you're attacking my, you're attacking my builder. I think he might survive though. Brilliant. Is he going to replenish any HP? And are these guys going to get through actually? Ooh, that was desperately close. Uh, let me see if I can try and get a catapult tower. A catapult tower right in the middle of this expanse would be very, very nice indeed. Let's get a catapult tower right over there. Brilliant. And then let's bring the next wave in as swiftly as we possibly can to maximize our gold revenue. Again, with the unbalanced sound, I'm very sorry. And honestly... Range upgrade, fire upgrade, fire rate upgrade, that'd be good. And we'll do attack damage over there. Cool. Okay. I mean, any round that starts with hounds, I'm not really worried about the hounds. I know one hound did originally get through. I'm not particularly worried about that. I'm not worried about hounds getting through on the second occasion. Uh, let's see if we can immediately get the next wave. I know that seems perhaps a little bit premature, but I think, I think it's a, I think it's a strat. There we go. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, I'd like to get a range upgrade on this catapult if at all possible. I'd also just like to continue to develop our guard towers. Let's put a guard tower over there. Right, stick it into two times speed, three times speed or whatever. An early bear. So we got a bear on round four. I think I'm okay with that. Right, I'm going to get you to bombard a fixed point just for now. So we can try and deal as much damage as we possibly can. Okay, nice. That was really good, actually. That was absolutely perfect for us. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that we're not managing to get an appropriate amount of damage out on the units coming from the south. So let's try and get that done right now. Uh, we'll sort that out. There's actually an entry point over here. Oh, there's an entry point from the cave. Very, very cool. I didn't actually, I didn't actually notice that. Well, we've got to be careful with, uh, with sappers as well, because sappers can also create new entry points and create new routes, and I don't really want to experience that annoyance. I'm going to increase my fire rate, particularly because bandits really are irritating, and the way to combat them, I'm pretty certain, is just a fire rate increase. There we go. 
So we've got one catapult, which is doing, I mean, a fantastic amount of work, really doing a heck of a lot of AoE damage. Let's immediately progress to the next level. Uh, let's also get a brand new, a brand new lumber shack, a lumberjack shack. Whoa, hold up, that's a yellow. Ah, a yellow is a sapper. Okay. So we should pay careful attention to this guy over here. So he's just created a tunnel. So we'll see where he emerges, but presumably that means enemy units can move from this spawning point to another spawning point, which is a little bit concerning, but I think that we should still be fine. Um, we might need to reinforce sort of this central entrance area. But for now, I think I think we're just fine. I think we probably want to try and get a brand new catapult tower at some point. I'm going to call him the next wave, even though this sapper hasn't actually finished his business. There we go. I'm going to send the builder out. It's a little bit risky, but uh, we should be fine. Now, I don't think the sapper can take damage underground. So he's straight up just created a, a hole right there. That, 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 the sound is just unbelievable. Right, so we'll see exactly what happens with the, uh, with the enemy pathing. There we go. I tell you what, getting fire rate upgraded on these catapults would be a tremendous help. Right, let's see what the scout says. We'll see exactly what the scout says, and we'll see exactly if any enemies go into this uh, go into this hole over here. I'm actually not bothered if they do. It is, well, I guess it's a little bit concerning. It could sort of make this tower completely redundant, but uh, if that's the case, then that's the case. Right, what are you doing? Oh, you're waiting? You're waiting? You're a, you're a crafty one, aren't you? And then you're just gonna run through. Ah, but you can't get through all of my turrets. You thought you could, but you can't. Right, let's follow that up with another tower. I'm going for I'm going for quantity over quality on this occasion. I think maybe it's a strat. Hold up. Hold up. Are you going to go through the hole? Is anyone going to go through the hole here? Doesn't look like anyone's going to go through the sapper's hole. Which is, I mean, phenomenal news for me. Means that we can keep this tower uh, just ticking over fine. I'm going to get a range upgrade. I'm going to get a damage upgrade. And you're pausing just outside the tower range in order to wait for your uh, compatriots to catch up. That is such a crafty thing to do. Right, well, you know what? You didn't, you didn't fool me. You didn't fool me. Right, next wave. Bring the next wave in. Let's keep it coming. Let's keep it in two times speed. What have we got? Five hounds. Easy. We've got another sapper. Let me let me see what the sapper does. So the sapper is immediately traveling. Or actually, that's not the sapper. That's the hounds. Okay, so the hounds take the hole. I don't know if they always elect to take the hole. But that is indeed what they decided to do on this occasion. I mean... The sapper decided to take the hole over there. Thankfully, we're not seeing any other sappers faffing around underground. But uh, but that's fine, I think, at the moment. Let's build another catapult tower. And let's go straight to the next level. Lumberjack, I think we've, uh, we've probably got an appropriate amount of lumberjacks. Jeez Louise, that sound. We've probably got an appropriate amount of lumberjacks at this point. Uh, so I'm just going to keep on... Keep on keeping on with the catapult towers and probably seeing if we can try to upgrade the catapult towers. Let's get range up twice on those catapult towers. We've already maxed out the fire rate, at least for now. So that's pretty good. Okay, that bear is still presenting somewhat of a problem. The bear is getting further than most units would, but uh, but on the whole, we're we're doing just fine. Right, let's range up on you, range up on you. Right. So, you've got two echelons. You've got two... You've got two echelons, or two, uh... Yeah, whatever. I think I think they're called chevr chevrons, not echelons. Uh, two chevrons. I don't actually know what that particularly means. It's got. It's not got to do with the range up. Presumably, it's got something to do with the number of kills that you've got under your belt. I mean... Whatever, whatever, 
whatever whatever gives me presumably a damage up or or something whatever I get is is a bonus so we're rank three out of three yeah I don't know I don't know what that means and also why does two echelons signify rank three out of three I don't actually know it doesn't make any sense current experience four out of 90 Wowzers that was that was quite something okay we've got a brute coming in in fact we got two brutes coming in thankfully oh goodness gracious me Right, we're clearly going to need to get this tower repaired. So let's get the builder to go and do that right now. The catapult should be on the job of the brute. Brilliant. And we'll get both of those towers repaired as swiftly as possible. And then we will bring in the next wave. We've got a bear coming in from that angle. I tell you what, this is a great opportunity to go and build a scout tower over here. Right, I'm gonna go and send out a builder to do that, which may seem a little bit silly, but these guys, I think, well, this guy will wait, so that's fine. As long as nobody confronts the builder when he's on the road, we will be totally, totally fine. Yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The brute might just catch the builder in his AoE attack, but it doesn't look like that'll happen, which is very, very nice indeed. I'll tell you what, let's set out to build another scout tower as well and then let's queue up that building to be uh to be fixed right so oh that's interesting that is very very interesting so we were able to see the route that the sapper was going to take so it looks like they're going to go up here and build a tunnel very very interesting indeed now the hounds might take advantage of this tunnel yeah so it looks like one in every two hounds seems to be taking advantage of the sapper tunnel I'm fine with that. That's okay. I mean, this is a very, very heavily defended city anyway. Just so happens that we've got a lot of, like, fast-firing turrets in this area. Let's get that tower upgraded a little bit more. All right. Looking, looking particularly, looking particularly good. We got a brand new, a brand new scout tower as well. That's really, really good. I'm very happy with it. Okay, what was destroyed there? Nothing was destroyed, but that tower needs to be repaired. Who's digging? I can hear somebody digging. Oh yes, it was the it was the sapper coming in from the north. Area of effect brute doing his worst. Let's go get that repaired. And then let's call in the next wave. If we call in the next wave before the sapper's actually finished his tunnel, then I guess that kind of mitigates against the effect that the sapper has. And I'm not particularly worried about my towers not being able to kill this sapper right over here. Where is he going to come up? Is he going to come up? Oh my goodness, that was that was devastating. That was really really devastating. Let's get the builders to go and repair this uh, to go and repair this area as swiftly as possible. It's worth noting that whilst a building is being repaired, it can't actually attack. So I'm not going to... Oh, that's a problem. That is a problem. The Provoker... The Provoker managed to morale check a tower and stop it from attacking. Looks like we might just be fine, though. Let's get double upgrades on range over there. Yet we just managed to survive that. Wow, that was very, very close. We don't have enough wood, we don't have enough iron to upgrade, uh, or sorry, to, to build a brand new tower, but we might be able to squeak a couple of upgrades if it's required. Yeah, cool. All right, hounds, any hounds using the, the new path, new path up to the north, doesn't look like they are. This is getting, this is getting intense, actually. If I didn't have this many catapult towers, I would be feeling a lot more apprehensive about this. And if I didn't have as many like range upgrades on all of my catapult towers, I would I would be feeling I would be feeling scared. I tell you what though, the area of effect from the catapult towers, it literally cannot be beaten. It's it's what's making it's what make it's what's making all this possible. In fact, I am in love with catapult towers so much that I feel we should probably try and get a, another catapult tower at some point, maybe over here, just to shore up our defenses that little bit more. In saying that, though, we are on to the final... Well, next round will be on to the final round. I guess this is the penultimate round. Let's take this opportunity to go and repair... Repair? Repair is the term that I'm looking for. We'll go and repair that tower. Oh, you sneaky sausage, you almost got through my defenses. 
but not quite. Thank goodness for that fire rate up. Oh my goodness, yeah, these, um, these sappers, very, very irritating. That's gonna be a provoker. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Honestly, I'm completely happy with this provoker constantly. Uh, and, like, perpetually, forevermore. I'm fine with him, like, checking the, uh, or morale checking the guard tower, because the real damage is coming from these two catapults and this catapult over here. So, yeah, I mean, that's fine in my books. I'll, um, I'll take that any day of the week. Let's see what happens. We've got a couple of units. I don't think there's anything new coming in at this point, which is very, very reassuring. Uh, I'm a little bit worried, maybe, that the Brute does damage to the Catapult or the Guard Tower with his AoE. But if that's the worst that happens, then then I guess that's I guess that's fine. Let me get a Fire Rate upgrade on that tower. Yep, just to make sure that those Marauders or whatever, the Fast Boys, to make sure that they can't get through. Yeah, it was a little bit worried about that happening. That tower might end up getting destroyed. If it does... Oh, okay. As it turns out, it will not end up getting destroyed. I don't think. Brilliant. Okay. That works out very, very nicely. Uh, we did have a significant shortage of iron. Wow. We won with two stars, even though I took, like, literally two damage over the entirety of that, uh, of that encounter. I, I guess that's... That's just how it that's just how it goes. If you don't perfect it, then you don't get three stars. Right. Well, let's occupy peacefully. That'll push back the rebellion a little bit further. That'll also get me my next level up, which is wonderful. Let me throw all my points into leadership. I have a special ability now. What does that mean? I can't click it. I'm clicking it right now, but it ain't it ain't doing nothing, governor. Uh so I have absolutely not the foggiest of ideas what uh, what that could possibly mean. Uh right. How are we doing in our capital city? Population is still shrinking. Food is still required. I mean, that's that's that still kind of sucks, but I guess that is that is what it is. Uh, let's let's appoint some governors. Why don't we? Let's appoint some governors. Now, this is a little bit of a risky endeavor because the governors we are. I'm not entirely sure how we how we can tell how loyal they are. Inspect your officers. Yeah. Fire this officer, arrest and execute, bribe the officer. He's sneaky. Alright. Loyalty modifier minus 10%, jack of all trades, cost of special abilities, bonus to province statistics, defender, terror damage, terror defense. Alright. And you are a heathen. Relations with church, relations with army. And you also have a loyalty modifier. Right, I mean, how much how much gold do I have in my in my bank? I, I've got enough. Why don't I just bribe these guys to make sure that they don't end up... They don't end up betraying me. The reason that I want to make absolutely certain that I do this... And I'll tell you why, folks. I'll tell you why. Is, um, I actually... I actually was in a situation. I was actually in a situation where... To be honest, I'd recorded, I'd recorded an hour-long video. An hour-long video. I committed a whole darned hour. There we go. Let's just get everyone assigned. I, I'd recorded a whole hour-long video of this game on intermediate difficulty. But because of the rebellion mechanic, or because of... Oh, goodness gracious me. I didn't realize if you zoomed in, you could actually see the, uh, the cities on the map. Very, very cool. Well, why don't we scout this province, I guess? Uh, yeah, we'll scout it from our, our homeland. Uh, yeah, so I recorded a whole hour-long video on on this game, uh, on intermediate difficulty. And, uh, and the, 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 the situation... Oh, look, that town's upgrading. Cool, we can upgrade the settlement? Yes, I will absolutely upgrade the settlement. Yes, please. Happy days. Uh, yeah, so I recorded a whole hour-long video on this game. It was... It was a disaster. It was an absolute. It was an absolute disaster because what happens is my town just kept on rioting, and so whenever your town riots, what you basically do is you go into a terror defense, you know, encounter, much like how we've just, you know, just done twice, and uh, and you have to do it all over again. And it's just, it's just the most irritating and uh, and 
absolutely bonkers thing. So I think it's a little bit a little bit buggy at the moment, or at least on intermediate difficulty. I wasn't able to make any headway. So I thought, you know what? I'll just instead of publishing that video, I'll just not publish a video for a day and uh, and I'll try again. Uh, right, we can make a, ball a ballista tower. I mean, that seems pretty pretty fine and dandy, doesn't it? Sure, 13 turns. Let's do that. And see if we can make any progress on that. We've got three research points coming in per turn, which is very, very nice. Now, something else that I should bear in mind is that we can actually ask for a laboratory to be built. And that says that it gives me plus two research points per turn, but it actually doesn't. Because at the moment, I think this is bugged as well. So it actually only gives me plus two percent research points per turn. And plus two percent of one is like 1.02 percent research points so it's basically still one research point per turn so uh so that's pretty that's pretty irritating but hey ho Ooh, what is this over here there's cattle rustling so food production is down by 20 percent well that's a little bit of a bummer but um but hey ho we could we could move our headquarters we could move our headquarters over to this province, and that will allow me to give direct building orders. But I'm not entirely convinced that that's what I want to do. Let me try and just get a little bit of extra information on uh, on this province right next door. I am going to attack this province in just a second. Partial success. Uh, I mean, whatever. Let's um, let's see if we can attack this province right over yonder. There we go. We don't have a super large amount of information. Uh, no. But um, but we're going to do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway. Let's fight. Let's auto resolve this battle. There's a 95% success chance, which is great because that's probably higher than than I would be able to guarantee. 40% chance for a single uh, for a single star. That's what we end up with. I'm fine with that. Let's occupy peacefully. Once again, push off the riots for another turn. That'll push us up to four research points per turn, or at least it should. This province is ready for a settlement upgrade. Wonderful. And, uh, and that will be just fine. We are still requiring of food. Which is a bit irritating. We're building a logging camp. I don't want to build a logging camp. I uh, I absolutely don't want to build a logging camp. No, I, I, I want to build... I want to build pastures and a farm up to level 2. Yes, please. Absolutely do that. If you are not going to assign the the proper buildings to to be worked on then uh, then that's a problem uh scouts report brilliant happy days stone deposits in this province i mean that's kind of nice uh, what i would love to do what i would love to do well first of all i'd like to just fight for the province there we go we'll just fight for as many provinces as we possibly can settlement under construction cool We'll wait until the next turn. It takes us two turns to mobilize our troops from Pifraz over to Geisen. Uh, just because of the distance. No, I don't want any extra officers at the moment. We are able to get a, another level up. Now, I've just hit 30 leadership percentage points. Now, I wouldn't know this if I hadn't already played this game for a fairly significant period of time. But as soon as you hit 30% leadership, you're able to hire a brand new officer. So I guess I'll do that and I'll I'll try and assign a brand new governor. Uh, let's auto-resolve this battle. A 95% success chance. I mean, this is pretty much as good as it gets. Two stars. That's about as well as I would be expected to do. So, I mean, that's fine. As you can see, on easy, this game is, 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 pretty, is pretty broken at the moment. I think that's probably fair to say. Uh, what I really am waiting for, by the way, is the opportunity to is the opportunity to unleash my brand new tech. Can I fight for two provinces at the same time? I can, actually. I totally can. I'm a little bit low on resources, but that's that's okay. How are we doing for food? We still require food. We've got seven turns left on our farm. Yes. Let's have a little look at this guy. Yes. Okay, I will hire you. Brilliant. Let's get you hired. Let's bribe you as well. Plus 20% loyalty because, I mean, again, I don't want to encourage any riots under any circumstances in any locations ever. It's just a big old, a big old no-no for me. Can I get a governor assigned over here, please? There we go. Wonderful. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the 
the officer club, I guess. Let's auto resolve this battle. A 95% success chance. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's easy and there's easy, right? I mean, I feel like this game is literally just playing itself. Uh, it, it really is a very strange combination. Right. Um, I didn't mean to click that button, but I did. Double shifts is reloading. Doubles the resources. Oh, I see. Now this is the special abilities that uh, that are accessible because of my level. Very, very cool. Right, so we've got a catapult tower. Now the catapult tower, I believe, should be able to be upgraded into a uh, ballista tower, which is very, very nice. And similarly, the guard tower is going to be able to be upgraded to be to be more than a guard tower as well. So let's go and start out with our standard opener. Stick that in two times speed because I don't want to hear that abysmal that abysmal noise again. Right, double guard tower. Yep, that's pretty good. There we go. And then let's also get a scout's tower as well. We'll stick the scout's tower. We'll stick the scout's tower right over here. The reason that I want to stick it right over here is that occasionally you get a unit that decides to attack a tower before progressing onwards. And it would be great to have it attack the scout tower before going into the province. Give us a little bit of an extra opportunity to, uh, to, to you know, to save the to save the city. So we're looking to perfect, uh, to perfect this run. I doubt that that's going to happen. We've got five entry points over here. So I don't know if the number of entry points affects the number of units that we've got coming in. But I'm not particularly worried about this encounter. I would like to get a lumberjack up and running as swiftly as possible. What the heck are you doing? So you run this way? Wow, okay. That's a... Uh, that's a... That's a cold opener. That was... That was kind of surprising. Very, very surprising, in fact. Okay, I mean, I'd love a catapult. I'd love a catapult. I'd love a catapult, and I'd love a catapult right there. Let's get a catapult done as quickly as possible. Let's get a fire rate upgrade on both of the... On both of the towers. There we go. Fire rate is oh so important. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So letting hounds through is doubly irritating. Because they are super easy to kill. And therefore, it actually makes total sense to try and kill them... Uh, as quickly as possible, but also they they give you good money. They give you good money. The pathing that is going on here is uh, is very very wonky. So not sure about that. Double shifts is currently reloading for the uh, for the lumberjack huts. Bombard a specific point. There we go. That did a good amount of damage. Although not loving this at all. Let's try and get a fire rate up, and uh, we'll get a range up on you, damage up on you, sure. And then I'm going to get you to stop bombarding a specific point as well. Right, and let's just progress straight into the next level. Uh, to be honest, I'm actually looking forward to f a fewer number of units coming in. The hounds have been particularly challenging to, to deal with on this occasion, which is pretty irritating. Let's get a range up on you. Damage up on you. Range up on you. Yeah, okay. I, th I think that this is a good mix. Right. We want to try and get a composite bow upgrade on both of these guard towers. Okay. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the tower settings panel, and I'm going to say... I'm going to get the catapult to attack the toughest enemy. See if that makes any difference to our strategy at the moment. 42 wood. How much wood do we need in order to... We need 55 wood in order to upgrade... In order to upgrade the, the tower to a to a composite bow tower. Fif, or sorry, 55 wood in order to get it upgraded. All right, that was that was an abysmal shot. Yeah, yikes. Okay, taking two hits of damage there. That's a little bit of a bummer. Something that I should have made a, made you aware of is these bandits actually. Uh, yeah, let's get that upgraded to a composite bow. Give that an attack damage boost. 
sure. Uh, these bandits, whenever they come into the city, they actually take between 3 and 14 gold. They take between 3 and 14 gold out of my coffers, which is quite annoying. Uh, this tower does have the ability to use abilities, although not at the moment. Let's also use double shifts. There we go. Right, so fire rate. Let's get fire rate increased as much as we possibly can. The very, very good thing about getting a composite bow, uh, composite bow tower is that we're actually able to upgrade the tower to a higher level now. So as you can see, we'll be able to obviously improve the fire rate, improve the range, improve it all. But we're going to be able to improve it up to, to level 3, I believe. Or even up to level 4. So let me, let me get a range up. Yeah. How much is this... How much is this actually doing? Build next to forests and trees. It improves the amount of wood gathered by workers. I mean, I'm, it is right next to a tree, I guess. I don't know. I, it doesn't look like it does anything. I, I mean, I clearly have more wood production, which is which is nice, but I just I just can't really tell that much. Right. I would like to. Okay. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna straight up wait until we see where this sapper's tunnel emerges. And then I'm going to stick down a tower right next to it. Yeah. Straight up. Just get a tower right over there. Okay, you exploded. But thankfully, since the tower hadn't been completed, it looks like we didn't take any damage there. Brilliant. Uh, another catapult is in order, I suspect. Let's get another catapult. In fact, how much does it cost to upgrade this to a ballista catapult? Ooh. I'm interested. I'm really interested. Let's let's save. Let's save. And I tell you what, let's get a brand new lumberjack as well. Ooh, we've got a brand new unit. Inventory. Who wouldn't want to command the Croven army? Stout, steady, and reliable. Alright. So basically. Basically just your average your average troop. I mean I'm fine with that. Uh let me also see if we can try and get yet another lumberjack. The more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. Yikes. Okay. Builder took a little bit of damage there, but that's fine. I don't want to get it upgraded to a Ballista Tower right now. I think we should be fine. Especially with the catapult damage. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Let's go. Let's go Ballista. There we go. Let's get it upgrade, se uh, upgraded. Send out the Builder. I just want to make sure that we're not upgrading in the middle of combat. Just to make sure. Right, another lumberjack. I feel like lumberjacks all the way, uh, so that we can get a, uh, so we can you know get a whole bunch of uh, of double double shift production. And let's go, let's go to the next wave. Cool. All right, and then let's pop double shifts, and we should see our wood production increase tremendously. Yeah, very very happy with that. Very very happy with that. Right, let's get fire rate on the ballista. I'm looking for upgrades to my composite bow factory. Uh, composite bow factory. What am I talking about? Composite bow tower and also the the ballista tower. It doesn't look. It doesn't look like this ballista tower does area of effect. I mean, he does seem very very powerful, and his range upgrades are very very nice. But we need to be specking him out for damage if he's not going to be an area of effect tower. And in fact, we need to get ourselves another catapult tower. Truth be told. Uh, we need something that does area of effect. Uh, at least I think so, anyway. So we're gonna try and we're gonna try and do that. Uh, cool. What do we need? We need 60, 61, 61 iron in order to do in order to do another catapult. Let's get another catapult over here. Oh yikes! <laughs> That is such an irritating noise. Okay, so you need to be spec'd out for damage. We need more iron. I mean, ideally, I'd like to be able to get a... Ooh, that's not good. Need to get that repaired. 
and uh, repairing costs a heck of a lot of resources and not really resources that I have at the moment. As you can see, drains all of my iron. But if, if it needs to be done, it needs to be done. We gotta do what we gotta do. We're fine for wood now, which is grand. We're fine for wood, we're fine for money. Alright, this is gonna be- this is gonna be close. Oh my goodness. Right, one dude got through. That's really irritating. We are after another catapult. I'm convinced we're after another catapult. We need to get another catapult over in this side. I mean, for- for all this Ballista Towers... I mean, talk, it's not actually that great, I don't think. Uh, I should probably reconfigure it to- to be closest to the castle. Also, this isn't really a castle, it's like a little hamlet thing, I guess. But I need another- I need another catapult, don't I? There we go. Go get that built as swiftly as we possibly can. There we go. Are we able to kill the bear? We're able to kill the bear. Thank goodness I got that extra catapult. Um, I think I- yeah, I think I want to continue working on the upgrades for the Ballista Tower and the- What the heck was that? The Wood Witch. Aura of Despair. The aura causes heavy negative modifiers to all of your towers, soldiers, and buildings in the area. Builders in the area. Also deal continuous damage at a rate of 5 damage per second. Curse of Raven summons a flock of ravens to block the line of sight of a target tower and prevent it from shooting for 7 seconds. Master of the Wild. Every 30 seconds, the witch summons a black bear out of the woods that will join her attack. That's a horrific unit. That is a truly, truly dreadful unit. Uh, let's double up our production. Or double shift our production. And then go straight on to the next level. I want to upgrade. I want to upgrade the range on the ballista tower. It's iron that we need. We really need to get an iron mine if it's all possible. Uh, obviously, having a having a building that gives me wood is all very well and good, but we have no way to supplement our our iron our iron income at the moment. Oh, that was a brilliant shot! Absolutely brilliant shot. Right, your fire rate is already as high as it'll go. Let's get you upgraded to a composite bow as soon as this encounter is over. The provoker managed to stop the... Managed to stop the guard tower from firing, but he's back on the mend. Or he's, he's back on the go, which is great. Yeah, I straight up just think that a composite bow is just better than a guard's tower. I mean, looking at the stats here, it's... It's... It's just better... It is just better. Apart from the fire rate, the fire rate is a little bit garbage, but that's okay. A little bit more garbage, should I say. Right. Let's go next wave. What the heck is this? This is ridiculous. Okay, a glider. Explosive death. Okay, just like the just like the sapper. Fairy rain, uh, fiery rain. The glider throws bombs from the sky upon your towers, defenders, and builders. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a bit of a concern. Because, I mean, well, this tower is already on low HP. Okay, he didn't actually deal that much damage. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is nasty. This is real nasty. I mean, I need to prioritize repairs here. Uh, let's go and get the catapult done. And then let's go and repair the, the composite. I probably shouldn't have repaired that right now, because that's going to stop it from firing, but I think it should be totally fine. Right, so most of the damage has been repaired. Again, not entirely convinced that I like this uh, this Ballista Factory. And the Ballista Factory, what am I talking about? It doesn't seem to be hitting very, very often. Right, let me, let me change to Toughest Enemy, because you don't seem to be able to hit fast-moving enemies. Okay, this tower might straight up be going down right now. Alright, that is very, very good. We're very close. Right, I need to repair this catapult. That's a pretty key bit of infrastructure. Yeah, that's gonna drain all of my iron, though. Right, and now we've got a, a wood witch as well, so she's gonna 
spawn some nasty units. Okay. That... Oh, goodness gracious me. Thank goodness she died. Okay, looks like we're gonna get by without taking any damage. Let's double shift it up. Um, I think we just need, I think we need, maybe just need more guard towers, really. Yeah, again, I feel like I've gone for, for quality over quantity on this occasion. Not entirely sure that it's worked out altogether too well. We've got a heck of a lot of gold, which is all, which is all good, but, um, we've got nothing to spend it on because I don't have any iron to, to get any upgrades, so, so that's a problem. Provoker, negative, uh, negative check over there. I mean, I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. Get a range up. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we're gonna survive the encounter, I think. Barely. This ballista tower is... I'm not loving it. I'd get a hundred iron back from it. Um, I think I am straight up gonna sell the tower and get a catapult tower. I think I just prefer the catapult tower. Yep. And then I'm gonna get another guard tower over there. I'm all about... I'm all about... I'm all about that quantity life. Let's get that tower repaired as well. Next wave. What I can say is that these composite bow towers do genuinely seem to be doing a bit of a better job. Quite vulnerable to fire. I mean, they are, they are good. They are... They do seem better. Fire rate seems pretty pretty good. I mean, look, yeah, it's 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 great. It's great. I I, I, I like them. I'm I'm happy with the upgrades of the guard towers to, to composite bow towers. But anything else, not a huge fan of. Oh my goodness, you destroyed my city! How is that allowed? That is a that is a rotten that is a rotten, rotten deal there. Also, I have a destroyed scout tower over here, which um, which I can repair a little bit, which might help. I mean, we are close. We are very, very close to finishing, but also very, very close to death. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Wicked Witch of the West? Yikes! Not loving that. Okay. That's a destroyed guard tower. Of all of the towers to be destroyed in that area, actually reasonably happy with the fact that it's a guard tower. Brilliant. Right, I'm gonna go and dispatch a unit. I don't really want to waste all of my iron resources on repairs of that tower. But I kind of want to because it is a good sort of sacrificial... It's a good sort of sacrificial tower to have on the front lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dispatch my workers at the same time. And it should mean that when... Yeah, so it should mean that when they run out of iron, this tower, because it's a little bit closer and it'll, it'll take a little bit less time to reach, uh, this tower will be fully repaired and this one will not be fully repaired. That's the, the kind of annoying thing about this is that you can only repair... You can only repair with everything that you've got. You can't allocate resources to specific repairs. Right, so the Provokers, they are doing their work. They did a double morale check, I believe. This, by the way, is exactly why I had the the Sacrificial Tower over here. Because that, uh, that has absorbed all of the hits. Right. Probably, you're probably going to hit the ground over here. Uh, yeah. Not super happy with that. We'll go and get a repair on both of those, both of those towers. I guess in many ways, these two towers are acting, are acting as sacrificial towers in their own, in their own special way. Uh, and I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. Right, let's go to wave 21. This is gonna be, I mean, this is, this is it here. This has been, this has been a rough, rough, rough fight. What have we got? A couple of sappers, inventory units... A few bits and bobs, actually. And we've got a glider coming in over here. Two gliders. Okay, I mean, I, like, straight up might just not be able to destroy you. Yeah, I straight up just might not even be able to destroy you. You might just straight up get through. And you straight... Wow! 
there is literally nothing that I could have done there. That is that is a nasty, 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 nasty unit. I mean, I would have to deploy like a specific anti-aircraft uh, tower near the spawning point, I guess. That's really cool. I like that. That's a that's a great mechanic. I mean, we end up losing the attack, but um, but I tell you what we can do. I tell you what we can do. What is a a, 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 a little a little cheaty route to success? Rebellious activity. What do we got going on? Booze theft. Oh, I hate it when booze is stolen. We can upgrade the settlement in this province. Wonderful. Let's go and do that. How are we doing food production wise in our own province? I think our yeah. I'm pretty sure that our um, that our province actually downgraded in level. Market tier one. Oh, we can't even build. We can't even build anything because all of our population decreased and therefore we're not able to to build level two uh, level two buildings. That's pretty nasty. That is a shame. The loyalty of all governors has decreased by 10% for three turns. That's a problem. Uh, let's auto-resolve this battle. A 75% chance that it'll be a success. Well, that's better odds than uh, that's better better odds than I could perform on the battlefield. Occupy without bloodshed. Wonderful. Uh, we can level up our leadership with a bunch more points. Don't know why you'd care. We get a brand new special ability. I don't actually know what that does. Uh, 79 turns until the riot. Settlement is under construction. Wonderful. Well, I mean, I feel like this is... I feel like this is a point with within, you know, with, at which I say, hey, thanks for watching, folks. Um, if you've enjoyed this and you want me to play a bit more, let me know in the comments. It probably wouldn't be all that difficult to, uh, to complete the game in the next episode if I was just to auto-resolve absolutely every encounter. But it's it's a lot of fun playing a tower defense, uh, playing a tower defense 4x game. I mean, this game is it's got a long way to go. It's in early access, but I dig it, and I hope you've uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little video as well. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you as ever to my fantastic Patreon supporters who help make videos like this possible. I'll see you next time. Bye.